Hello once again. Now let us move on to another important topic which is shared libraries. So as your project grows, as your pipeline grows, as you create more and more pipelines and you create more and more functions, you will be requiring to centralize some of functions so that it can be used throughout your organization or your teams. All right. So for this particular need, we have the concept of shared libraries. Now to have the shared li library created for that, you will be requiring a groovy knowledge. So you need to follow a particular structure of the project and that structure would be something like this. So it will be having a root and then it will be having source folder where you will be having the code files and then it will be having wars folder and then resources folder. So this var folder would be having the groovy files. Basically, let's say I have a file name as abc.groovy. So that would be the name of the function that I will be using. So for simplicity, I am not creating a new library here. Rather, I'll be sh showing you one example that I simply fogged from GitHub. I searched for, uh, you know, some standard library and I got this very simple library, which is printing this hello message. So you see here I am inside this wars folder and inside that we have say hello dot groovy and then inside that we have a function defined which simply prints the hello message with the name. OK, so let us now see what configurations we need to do in Jenkins. So we need to go to manage Jenkins inside that you need to go to configure system and here in configure system you need to go to global pipeline libraries. So if you will be scrolling you will be finding it somewhere in the middle. So here we have this uh, global pipeline libraries. You need to click on this add button. When you click on this add button, you will be, you know, uh, putting the name of the library. So you can give any name here. For example, I'm putting my library as a name and then uh, you can put master in this default version. And if you further uh, go down, it will ask for the retrieval method from where this code will come. So you can choose uh, SCM again, then GitHub and then you will be requiring the repo link here. So I'm copying this GitHub repository link and I'm putting it here. And you see if I'm validating here by clicking this button, it says that the credentials are OK. Otherwise, it will be asking for the credentials and then you can simply apply and save. So your library is now ready to be used. Now you can go inside your test job and then you can configure it once again. And here if you are going to write a new script. So let us see what we need to write here in the script to use the function that we have in that shared library. So I have this skeleton for the pipeline where I do not have any steps inside the stage. So before that, I am importing the library. So I will be using at the rate library on the top. And then in round brackets, I will be giving the name of the library that I have provided inside Jenkins. All right. So this is how we have imported the library. Now, if we go to the source code of that, and if we go inside this watch folder, we will see there is one file which is say hello dot groovy. This is the name of the function that we need to call. And if we go inside the definition, we see it is asking for one argument, which would be the name. So that string we need to pass and it will be simply printing hello and then the name that we pass. So we are going to simply call the function say hello inside the steps. And then I give one argument, which is the name. So in single quotes, I am putting Kamal. So I'm expecting it should print hello Kamal in the output. I am simply copying pasting this a entire pipeline that I have created and then I am building it. So now when we check the console output, we see it has cloned that repository. It has cloned the project. And then if we further go down, it says hello Kamal. That means that it has executed the function. All right. So this is how we can make the standard functions, which can be shared across different pipelines or different projects. In case you want to go in more detail of creating these libraries, I would recommend you to first learn the basics of Groovy. And once you have some command on Groovy, then you will be able to follow the structure that I have shown to you in the beginning of this video. And you can simply create those functions slowly. And then uh, I have told you the way of importing those libraries and uh, using those functions. So once you are familiar with writing the functions in Groovy, you will be easily able to use those in pipelines. 
Now since we are talking only about pipelines in this course and not about Groovy, so that is why I keep this out of scope of this course. In case you want to learn further, I will try to add some bonus lectures in future, but for now we are limiting till here.